I don't know. She's like the new Mike Tyson. That was a fight over the weekend, right? Ronda Rousey now, in my mind, probably the hottest brand or certainly the hottest name in sports. Jillian and David back with me. All right, now this is her opponent, uh, the Brazilian. And a lot of smack before the fight. I think it lasted all of 34 seconds. <laughs> One hell of a knockout. Now the question is, by the way, uh, yesterday announced they're going to make a movie on her book. Uh, Reebok is betting big on her. Uh, Jillian, can she translate this? Do you think she can translate this whole image into a lot of cash? Because she's already a record saying, listen, I know I don't make as much as like a Floyd Mayweather, but give me a chance. Let me have more fights and become more exposed. Yeah, and you see her getting better and better with each fight. I think she's a phenomenal athlete. And the other dynamic at work here is that UFC is the fastest growing sport in the world. I, I think her brand is solid gold right now. Dave, uh, we saw, uh, you know, if you take uh, Steph Curry and, and Jordan Speeds, for instance, Under Armour stock has been unstoppable. Nike, if you'd have bought Nike the day that Michael Jordan signed his contract with I'm them, just looking at even a thousand bucks, you would, you'd be watching this show from a yacht right now. I, I cannot believe that I've avoided this stock all, all this time. <laughs> Nike is just a juggernaut. So, Ronda Rousey, can she, do you think she can do the same for these brands? Because now they're, these, these endorsers are going to so. line up. I would think so. She's a woman and, and, and she certainly hits the right demographic. I think it's going to be a very exciting. And I think there's some exciting investments that are going to come down the road where we're going to be investing in athletes themselves and, and tap into their income. Well, I think if she's investable, I would be buying all I could right <laughs> now. What about this also? She's taking on a more dynamic role. You know, like there's a lot of people saying, oh, man, you're built like a guy. I mean, she's a boxer. She's a fighter, right? M&A. She is. But she's, she's, she's taking on women's rights issues, mm -hmm. and she's really not apologetic. She's not a whiner. She's not a, you know, she's not complaining about equal pay and all that stuff. Is she sort of the right woman to, to become a new the leader of the women? Women's movement, if you will. Yeah, I think so. I mean, she she tells it like it is. She, she was getting questions this weekend about why don't you get paid as much as Mayweather. She's saying, you know, I haven't had that many fights yet. Give me a chance to live up to it. And the body shamers. I mean, she's like yeah. jumping a lake. You know, she's what? saying my body's functional. Uh, I, I think a lot of more. women like and so that. So is the woman attitude. she knocked out. I want to I want to shift gears, but stay on sports because San Antonio Spurs. They just got a player named Lamarcus Aldridge. He's a real good guy. So he's building a new house down there. In fact, he's building two houses for shoes. Now, we just talked about a week ago, Ben Baker, a guy made 100 million bucks. He's now, you know, he's getting ready to become a manager at a Starbucks. Wow. We've heard this over and over again. Dave, yeah. you manage money for people. Someone buying a house for their shoes, isn't that a red flag? I mean, I, mean, I don't I want to call him stupid, but this is a dumb move. I don't it, care it, how much money you make. It's the kind of thing you see in sports. It's also the kind of thing you see in entertainment. And what happens is you, you have a, you know, very finite life, uh, you know, a, as an athlete. And you start to believe that you're going to be making this kind of income for the rest of your life and you might only be making for five six seven years so you've got a plan for the future and unfortunately most don't. He's taking care of his shoes and I understand sneakers can be a good investment but it <laughs> seems like a pretty dumb move to me Jillian. Yeah I think it's the uh, Imelda Marcos financial strategy. <laughs> you guys remember the guy he just uh, he was getting in a lot of trouble and he filed for bankruptcy ex-football player he didn't pay child support for several years he went to court and he had to list his assets in bankruptcy and one of the top assets were like 300 pairs of sneakers. I mean this is kind of <sighs> crazy stuff but I keep telling people you know what it's not unlike our Government. Our government spends money like these athletes build houses for shoes. It's not your money. At least it's their money to blow. All right, guys, thanks a lot. Really appreciate it. And of course,